All right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. As always, please do like and subscribe before we begin. Really helps out the channel. And with that being said, we are taking a quick look at V Chain here. Looking like it is teetering on the brink of a potential second collapse here after that massive, massive wick that we did see to the downside here. A huge capitulation where we lost that previous area that we were bouncing at. We come all the way down to the swing low here, the previous local swing low. The huge wick down to the downside and the wick back up actually rejecting that move to the downside quite nicely. On the hourly time frame, you can see quite clearly here, this capitulation was quite, quite significant. If you take a quick look at the hourly time frame here, you can see a massive red candle followed by you know a little bit of a, of a rally here. Just a small relief rally by the looks of things. And then you can see here looking like potentially people are getting a bit twitchy here. And we are teetering quite literally on the brink of more downside for VeChain. If it loses this swing low, we'll definitely be heading down from this level that we're currently at at around 1.5 cents. Probably, realistically, the next swing low that we could find support at at around 1.2 cents. Maybe all the way down to around that 1 cent level, really. 1 cent would be an absolutely crazy entry point for VeChain, in my opinion. So I'll definitely be looking for that to potentially scale into some bags for the long term. But right now, looking like things are pretty spicy in the markets for VeChain. Clearly, there's been quite a large capitulation, especially in comparison to most altcoins. Some altcoins having a retracement, but VeChain has fell right out of the bottom of its descending wedge here. You can see we're in like this descending wedge formation. Just fell right out of the bottom to the previous support. A massive rejection of that move to the downside, but like I said now, sitting currently in a very precarious position. And really, we are waiting for, probably in my opinion, a move to the downside for VeChain. It does seem unlikely that this is going to recover from this level here. Unless we see a massive, massive bounce to the upside quite quickly for Bitcoin dragging the whole market up with it. Things looking a bit, a bit precarious right now for VeChain. On pretty much every single time frame, you can see here on the hourly time frame, the massive move to the downside. This relief rally, but obviously this is losing steam here. And then this big red candle here. Obviously a break of structure of this rally off the bottom. And now looking like we are sitting pretty much on that that level. Waiting for probably a move to the downside in my opinion. I do still have a small long position open which I will be keeping open. Just in case we do see ourselves getting a very nice bounce here which could still happen. But right now with all these bearish engulfing candles that we're seeing with every bounce for VeChain. We're probably going to be looking at more downside aren't we just like the rest of the market today. So really, that is it for today, guys. Not that much to say apart from that. Things looking very bearish indeed over the past week. And we'll have to wait and see if we get a relief rally. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. All that good stuff as always. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.